This is the new watch OS 10 for the Apple Watch and there's a lot to discover. This is the first redesign since a long time and they've changed quite a lot of things and I'm here to show you how to use the watch OS 10 for new Apple Watch users and for existing Apple Watch users. Let's start with the button. We have the crown and we have a button over here. When you press up the crown, you're going to be presented with all the apps that you have on your Apple Watch. Now the new layout of the apps is quite different from before. It's now more of a listy bubbly layout and you can go up and down with the crown as well. Before that it used to look like this with a grid view and you can zoom in and out with the crown and you can move to the desirable app with your hand but now it's quite different and I feel that this is a better way to browse through your apps than the one before and it still looks like the Apple Watch way. Now if you want to go to the recent apps that you've been using you double click the crown and you get presented with the recent apps that you've been using. It's also different than before and if you long press on the crown you get presented with Siri. Now the last thing that you can do with the crown if you turn it up like this you get presented with the widgets and these are just like the ones on your iPhone you can put let's say news weather whatever you want your workouts your music and if you want to add anything we just long press also just like the iPhone and we can remove or relocate one of the widgets let's say I wanted to add another one I want to go to astronomy and the moon and now here you go when you go down you'll find whatever widget you added here you also can change the widget for example you tap on it and you can change the widget size and whatever you want i also want let's say shazam but what i really use the most is the now playing one and done you can also access the widgets by sliding up from the bottom of the screen you can also control it with your finger, of course. Now moving to the second button, if you press it, you go to the control center. It used to be like this before, we can access it like this, but now it's quite different and we can access it through the side button. And if you double tap the side button, you get Apple Pay. You can, of course, go through your cards with your crown. You can also access your tickets also from here. Quick tip from the control center, you can pin your phone and if you can't find it or if you want to find it in a dark room you hold this one and you get a flashing light as well just a quick tip for you all and yes I always keep my Apple watch muted because I'm getting buzzed on my hand so why do I need also the sound as well now if we long press the side button we get quite a few options we can start the compass backtrack make an emergency call or turn off the Apple Watch completely. We can also turn the Apple Watch using the side button as well by long pressing it. Yep, this is how hot it is in the area. Now, if you slide up from the top, you get all the notifications that you've been getting on your Apple Watch. You can clear one by sliding from right to left and clearing that notification or clear all from the very top of the notifications. Now if you get a message and you want to respond to it, you can tap on this to send a voice message, a heartbeat, an emoji, a location or whatever it is. Or you can send an iMessage from here. Hey bro, how are you? And we can click send or we can send a quick message by going down with the crown. All right glad to hear and they have a bunch of other options now the main thing of the apple watch is the watch itself so how to change the layout <laughs> what do you use for transportation anyways if you want to change the apple watch face you tap and hold on the screen you get presented with these of course you can control with the crown you can go all the way there these are all options that I've made before and if you want to create one that is new you have a lot of options that you can create from. Of course you can add it like that, you can change the colors, also you can change whatever things you have on the sides. Let's say this is the temperature, yes I want the temperature but maybe I want the battery over here, where's the battery, here you go the battery I want a percentage and the others are nice and clear 
And here we go. This is the new Apple Watch face that we just created. But what I suggest is doing that on your phone because it's gonna be much easier. Let's say I wanted to add, go back to this one. I can change whatever I want over here and just set as current watch face and boom. It's much easier on the phone than on the watch. And that's been it for today's episode for how to use the Apple Watch with the new Watch OS 10 for beginners. 2023 2024 onwards and if you're learning anything new here consider subscribing thank you for watching see you